Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our Sesame Street friends are going on a paddleboard with me. The lake is nice and calm. I love getting outside and enjoying nature and getting exercise at the same time. Here's my paddle. I'm gonna have to use my muscles to row us through the water. I'll put our Sesame Street friends in this container to keep them dry as I paddle. It's got a floaty attached so it won't sink. And I hurt my thumb as I close the container. I'll have to put a Band-Aid on when I get home. We found a big log floating in the lake. As you can see, there's a lot of debris floating on the surface of the water. That's because when it's hot, all the snow from the mountains melts and comes down from the creeks and it causes the water to rise up onto the shores. Look up above, it's an airplane. The toys want to go for a swim on this hot day, but we need to make sure they float. We don't want to lose them. Perfect, Grover's light enough that he floats on the surface of the water. Everybody jump in. Abby goes first. Then Elmo. Next is Oscar. And Cookie Monster. Don't float too far away. I'll use my paddle to keep them close. And the log acts like a wall in the water. Let's see if we can balance the toys on the log. This is perfect, as long as the log doesn't float away from me. Ta-da! Let's go for a little ride on the log. It's like a boat for the toys. Okay toys, it's time to get back on the paddleboard. Oh no! Cookie Monster is floating away. Phew, I grabbed him just in time and I didn't even fall in and get wet. Luckily I have my life jacket on, so if I had to go and get him, I'd be okay. One, two, three, four, five. We have all of our characters. I'm going to strap them to the board so they don't fall off as I continue on my paddleboard ride. Elmo's the smallest, so he's not strapped in properly. We'll place him over here. Let's continue on. How about we have a look in the water and see what we can find? I see lots of sticks. <gasps> What's this? It's a wet bird feather. Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird this came from. Well, that's the end of our paddleboard ride. We've taken it out of the water, and now we need to take the fin off and deflate the board. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. <laughs>
that looks like a beaver dam. Look, tiny fans, we've spotted our first turtle. It just went into the water. It was on that log. Let's see if we can sw see it swimming. Well, that little turtle got scared and it hopped in the water. But we're almost at the end of the lake where the grassy log is. There it is, tiny fans, and I can see lots of turtles on it. Let's be quiet so we don't scare them away. I wonder how many there are. Oh, there's a little baby too. Oh, they're starting to hop in. Now we're a little closer and they're checking me out. Hello, little turtles. Oh, how many do you see now, tiny fans? One, two, three, four, five, six turtles. Oh, I heard another one. And there's one under the water swimming away. These are called painted turtles and they are protected. There aren't very many left. They have a beautiful color underneath on their tummies. As I'm looking around, I actually spotted another log with more turtles. Let's go see them. There's another little baby. On this log, I see one, two, three, four, five more turtles. It's okay, guys. Sometimes I like to talk to animals and let them know that I'm a safe person and I'm not going to hurt them. I don't want to get too close. All right, it's time to head back. Let's say goodbye to the turtles. Hope you have a nice, sunny, warm day. There's something moving in the water. Let's get a little closer. I think it's a giant dragonfly and it can't get out because its wings are wet. We're gonna have to save it, tiny fans, with our paddle. I'll lift it out of the water. Its wings have to dry off a bit, and then it can fly away. There you go, dragonfly. It's drying its wings off. Hopefully it can fly again. It looks like one of its wings is broken or torn. It's trying. I'll put it on the front of the kayak. It can dry off there. Well, I hope you enjoyed our kayaking adventure today, and I hope you can get outside, and enjoy some nature and sunshine. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Peppa Pig and Mummy Pig are going for a ride in the canoe today. But before they take the canoe out in the water, what do they need for safety, tiny fans? Life jackets. Mommy Pig has a yellow life jacket that matches her yellow dress. There we go. It's a perfect fit. Peppa has a red life jacket and it matches her red dress. Mummy Pig will sit in the back of the canoe. Peppa Pig, whoops, sorry Peppa, will ride in the front of the canoe. Mummy Pig will use the paddle. But it can't go in the sand. Mummy Pig, Peppa Pig, you still need to push the canoe into the water. They both use their strong muscles to slowly push the canoe towards the water. 
They're going to go fishing today. Hop in, Peppa. Thanks, Mummy. And off they go. Our family, including Puppy, always wears a life jacket, whether we're on a boat, canoe, paddleboard, or even a tube. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're by the lake with Daniel Tiger Toys and Teletubbies Toys. And we're going to talk a little bit about water safety. Always wear a life jacket whenever you're on the dock. And we never want to run. Always walk so you don't fall in accidentally. It's very cold in the water. So the toys are going to go in, but I'm going to stay on the dock. And there's little puppy. He's watching from the shore. Our toys are going to go for a little swim. But since I don't want to be in the water, they're going to swim towards the shoreline. And I'm hoping they all float. Mum Tigers first. Next is Dad Tiger. Little baby Margaret. And Daniel. Now it's time for the Teletubbies to go in. I'm worried they may sink. They have little cracks in the bottom, and sometimes their bodies get filled with water, which causes them to sink. Dipsy. Tinky Winky. Oh my goodness! I am so sorry, Tinky Winky. That was bad aim. You okay? Good. Whew. That post got in the way. Lala. Po. There, all of our toys are quite close to shore. But I'm hoping so I don't have to dip my feet in the water that the little ripple in the water will push them right to the edge. Let's go to shore and get our toys. Now I think I may be able to reach Mum Tiger. She's close enough to the shore. Oh, just barely. There we go. I got Mum Tiger. Hmm, am I going to be able to reach anyone else? I got Poe. What could I use to get the toys closer to me? Something long, like maybe the stick? Let's give it a try. This is called problem solving. Oh, yes, the stick is long enough to reach all of our toys. And luckily, our Teletubbies did not sink. Puppy is chomping on some grass. Did you know that animal stomachs can digest grass? But human stomachs can't. Since we're learning about water today, I'm going to spell a word. Oh, hello, Puppy. Puppy thought that stick was to play with, and he knocked over some of our Daniel Tiger toys. Here, let's put you back, Dad Tiger and Mum Tiger. We're actually using the stick as a pen in the sand. Here, puppy, here's a little stick. Go play with that. 
Okay, now we're going to spell our word. S W I M That spells the word swim. It's super important to learn to swim because we can't breathe underwater like fish. Our lungs will fill up with water and we wouldn't be able to breathe. If you ever go in the water, make sure there's always an adult watching you. And if you don't know how to swim, make sure you ask an adult to put you in swimming lessons. Poppy knows how to swim, but if he's ever around water like on the dock or around a pool, he wears a life jacket, just like you should. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies and I are going for a boat ride. What do we need for a boat ride, Teletubbies? Well, of course we need a life jacket. And we need to wear it at all times on the boat. It needs to be zipped up and buckled up properly. I'm also bringing my sun hat. It has a string on the bottom, so it won't fly off in the boat. It protects my face from the sun as well as my eyes. My sunglasses will block the UV bouncing off the lake. I also need water to stay hydrated. And SPF 30 all natural sunscreen. We're ready to go. Here's the boat. We need to get it in the water first. The trailer is all hooked up. Now we need to take it to a boat launch and back it into the water. Guess who's coming on the boat with us? It's Puppy and he has his very own life jacket. We need to keep our pets safe too. And look, Tiny Treasures Minnie has a red and yellow life jacket it's buckled and zipped up properly. It even has a picture of a tiny little hand on the front. The boat is in the water and we're ready to go. We have a licensed driver, it's responsible, and we've checked the fuel tank. We have a full tank of gas. That's very important when you're out on the water. The motor creates a wake at the back, or we also call it a whale's tail. Doesn't it look like a whale's tail, Tinky Winky? There are different signs on the lake for boats. Always follow the rules and make sure your driver knows what each sign means. Puppy loves riding on the boat. Look at how his fur blows in the wind. Uh-oh, Tiny Treasure's doll has fallen face first onto the floor of the boat. Let's pick her up. She wants to see the lake too. Poe loves to ride in the front of the boat. This part of the boat is called the bow. Hey, look over there. It looks like a giant minion in the water. It's time to stop for gas. Everyone out of the boat while we fill the tank. We need to make sure we have enough gas to get home safely. It's been a long day and it's time to head back home, Teletubbies. Our gas tank is full. We're home. We've put the covers, bumpers, and the ropes on. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.